type of the tool is determined by the type of markers that you're using in these tools. India Optical Tracking System supports active markers, retroreflective spheres and discs, and our own radix lenses as well. An active tool is contains markers that are light emitting, so LEDs, but we use infrared light, so you don't actually see it, but there's still uh, light coming out. So that means they need a source of power. It could be either coming via a cable to the tool, or it can be a battery operated tool, but there's always going to be electricity at a tool. So those are our active tools. The other type of tool we have is called a passive tool, and those are essentially reflectors. Not just reflectors, they are what we call retro reflectors. Retro reflectors you may know from um, your sports equipment. So sometimes on shoes or running gear, you get these reflectors and they are very visible to drivers in at nighttime. So when the, the, what, what happens here is the light gets sh shown onto the reflector and it falls back pretty much directly into the same direction where the light came from. So this is uh, what we use, uh, retroreflective uh, markers, typically they are sphere, spherical. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the two different tool types that we provide at NDI. The difference between an active wired tool and an active wireless is an active wired tool is directly con uh, connected to the camera by a system control unit. So the camera is able to directly communicate with the tool on when to turn the active markers on and off. An active wireless tool is a little different because it is not connected to the camera directly. It is run off of a battery pack. The camera tells the markers when to turn on by first firing an infrared light. The tool recognizes that light and then uh, controls the path, the active wireless markers to turn on.